Hey everyone, welcome to Charles Sage, and today we're talking about the Dog Years GPS, which is an aluminum repair plate for either your Wahoo or Garmin bike computer. This clever little product will save you from having to buy a new computer if you ever break the mounting bracket on the back, which is exactly what happened to me a few months ago. I had a hard crash and broke one of the tabs off the back of my Wahoo. And thank God I had my tether attached, otherwise I'd have no computer to repair. After contacting Wahoo, they suggested I look up Dog Years GPS, and boy am I glad that they did. But before I get into my likes, let's jump into the specs and installation. The aluminum plate with two screws weighed in at 8 grams, so it's relatively light. And with a diameter of 31.5 millimeters and a thickness of 7.2 millimeters, this aluminum plate is designed to fit snugly over your existing mount. There's not too much information on the website regarding the construction of this, so I have no idea if it's one piece of aluminum or if it's two pieces sandwiched together. But what I can tell you is it's built well and feels robust in your hands, which is a funny thing to say about such a small piece. But I just want to be clear, this isn't some thin, cheaply made product. And speaking of how it's made, Dog Ears GPS is made right here in the US in Logan, Utah. And you could tell they're a small company by the no-frills packaging it comes in, and I like that. It shows that they're focused on delivering a high quality product and that's some over the top marketing plan. They offer two different plates, one for a Garmin and one for a Wahoo. The installation is slightly different for each, but the basic concept is the same. Since I have a Wahoo, I'll go over that installation process now. Here are some of the items that you're going to need to complete this installation. Super glue, rubbing alcohol, a flathead and Phillips head screwdriver, and a file. If you don't have a metal file, then some sandpaper or even a nail file will do the trick. Once you have those items, the very first step is to remove or break off any remaining plastic tabs using the flathead screwdriver. Once the majority of the tabs are gone, grind down any rough edges using the file. With the edges smooth, take the file and score the top of the mount to give the glue something to grab onto. But before applying the glue, clean off the entire area with some rubbing alcohol. With the surface clean, place the aluminum plate over the existing mount, making sure the straight edge lines up with the right side of the computer. Check to make sure that the repair plate is sitting level and pushed all the way down. If it's not sitting level or not fitting right, then remove the repair plate and just file down any of the high spots. Once you're happy with the placement and you're all lined up, insert the screws. You don't have to over tighten these. Their main purpose is to help you line up the plate once you've applied the glue. Now comes the nerve wracking part. Remove the screws and repair plate and get ready to apply the glue. Quick tip here, if you have fumble fingers like me, consider rehearsing placing the plate on the mount over and over, being careful to match the alignment every time. After all, super glue does dry pretty fast and you only get one shot at this. Okay, so once you're feeling pretty confident, apply a good amount of super glue to the top and sides of the mount. Now place the repair plate over the mount, lining up the screw holes and pressing down firmly. Insert the screws and let the glue cure for a few hours. Once it's dry, you should be good to go. If you have a Garmin, make sure you don't put any glue over the speaker hole in the center. Also, the edge alignment will most likely be different, so take note of that when installing. As I stated in my intro, I've been using mine for a few months now and here are my likes. I love a simple, clever solution to a problem and this one is executed really well. It's clear the folks at Dog Ears GPS care about their product and they didn't cut any machining corners. This isn't some cheaply designed 3D printed plastic piece. This is designed to last and it shows. The fit is absolutely precise and I like that. In fact, it's so tight that it stays on without any glue. I also really appreciate how low profile the design is. The thickness is 7.2 millimeters, but because it's designed to go over your existing mount, you're only actually adding three millimeters of height. This means it's relatively unnoticeable on most mounting brackets. I've also put it through its paces, banging it up pretty good while riding through some extremely techy trails. However, I did manage to break it in one particular crash when it took a direct impact. But that's actually a good thing and let me explain why. Rather than breaking the computer, the impact broke the bond between the repair plate and the old mount. In other words, the glue failed, which is awesome because all I had to do was sand out the old glue, clean the parts and re-glue everything back together. Right, so what are the downsides? Well, while I find this product to be amazing, the installation was difficult and oversimplified on their site. In particular, the removal of the tab with the flathead was extremely difficult and I ended up putting several nicks into my computer. The truth is, you'll have to work them over pretty good little by little, something they should have probably explained better in their instructions. The other issue that I had was with the filing. Again, because the tabs don't just break off easily, you're most likely going to have to do quite a bit of sanding or filing afterwards. I found this process was hard to do without scratching up the back of the computer, leaving some deep abrasions. Both of these issues don't really bother me since it's the underside of the computer and no one's really going to see that, but I wanted you to be aware of it. Lastly, if you're a road cyclist who bought the element bolt specifically to reduce drag using the form-fitting mount, well, that extra 3mm means this will no longer be seamless. It'll still work, but you'll have a noticeable gap between the mount and the computer. 
I don't use this style of mount so it doesn't really bother me, but if you do, just know that it won't sit flush anymore. Okay, so how much will the Dog Years GPS set you back? Both the Garmin and Wahoo repair plates are only $23.99 and that's an absolute steal because these are going to save you hundreds of dollars by not having to buy a new or replacement computer. Which to me could be the biggest benefit of all. If you follow my channel then you know the abuse that I put my gear through and I can honestly say this product held up great and did what it claimed to do. So if you broke the mounting plate on the back of your computer like me, save yourself a bunch of money and give these Dog Years GPS plates a shot. I'll leave a link to them down below. Well that's it for this video, if you found it helpful give it a like and if you have any feedback or questions leave them in the comments below. And finally if you want to see more content like this feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh the computer's not on, that's dumb. Oh I missed my cut. Uh, I didn't hit start on the computer. Hey everyone welcome to Trails. Hey everyone welcome to Trails. Perfect. Alright. <clears throat> Consider replacing, rehearsing. Consider rehearsing placing the plate over the mount, on the mount, and sides of the hub, of the mount, and sides of the hub, of the mount. Drag it out. Drag it out, baby, yeah. Let everybody know you're coming. Woo! Part three, I guess. Man, we are getting so hot. It's getting hot in here. So hot. I don't even want to show you my pits. It's a weird statement to make. We need like, like a fan underneath my pits. That's what we need. Trash. Trash trucks. Yes, it does. <sighs> Police sirens. Philadelphia. It's always sunny. I mean, what take are we on now? Six? Let's get through this bad boy. Here we go. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I just want to get through this, man.